Pisces. Ooh, the spiritual cards. Mm. These cards, they don't necessarily like to be shuffled. They don't like to be shoved around, tossed around. They like to be nicely, delicately. Ooh, let's do this one. Oh, nice. Okay, that was really sticking out. No, not with the wolf. So we're going to do the goat. And we've got the spider. Very wicked fucking cards. Okay, we want one more apparently. And we just pulled the gull. Actually, which way does it go? It goes this way. Apparently this reading wasn't complete until we had three. So now we've got three. Okay. Spider is protection, aid, and wisdom. Goat, mischief, sexuality, and fertility. And the gull is water, creation, and emotion. Caprice. Okay, so I think somebody is um, playing off your emotions. They could all, they could be using sex. Like, you know, if you get angry or you get upset or something like that, and then they're like, let's just bang it out. And if you don't want to, they could, if you decline them, sometimes that's where quarrels happen. You need a scapegoat. So. Yeah, there's a fight. There's a fight happening. But the universe is saying that you are protected. Which is why spider came out. Because spider, the whole energy of a spider is protected. Okay, the grandmother spider is a source of wisdom. It's linked with the underworld. Okay, she rises from her realm to offer advice, particularly before dangerous or large undertaking energy, right? The spider woman um, is ancient. It's ancient energy, okay? It's Ojibwa people, Ojibwa people um, that originally kind of brought the spirit of the spider into the protective realms. So it's like ancient protection. So I think that somebody is getting called out right now for playing on your emotions.
So three cards fell out in the middle of the deck, which we've got three cards, as you can see, that are leading the reading. So for the spider, we've got helpful hands, okay, which is the three of pentacles. For gall, okay, for the seagull, which is the emotions, we've got mistreatment left alone, which would be the five of swords or the ten of swords. Left for dead, right? The battle. And then uh, for the mischief, Okay, we've got powerful pers powerful person with the ace of wands. So this was somebody like like th this is you're getting some help right now. Okay, the universe, your universe has had enough of this person and doing what they've been able to do for so long. Okay, uh, you're just getting some really nice help. The universe is just done. Your universe is done with this person. Okay. Clearly we've got standstill blockage left alone, no dis or left out, no decision. So there's a blockage here. Okay. And I believe that somebody has left you out of making your own decisions. Okay. Or they could have left you out of major decisions that were being made. And, uh, <clears throat> they didn't want you stepping in. Okay, they wanted you to feel, this person wanted you to feel isolated. They wanted you to feel alone. They wanted you to feel uncomfortable in a group of people, knowing that all of those people didn't like you. Okay, this was all happening on the surface. Okay, and we've got another ace of wands here. So we've got two aces of wands that have shown up. And now I feel like a spark is coming they also like they could have done some serious shit with fire okay cut out yeah you were cut out of something you weren't left out of something you were cut out of something so you were left out of something and you were cut out of something and to be honest that's why you started fighting because somebody was leaving you out of something and you started to fight, okay? Because that's what happens when somebody starts to get into your emotions, you start to fight back, okay? And um, you become quite powerful when you begin to fight back, okay? Somebody um, is, is a substance abuser here big time, okay? And that's obviously uh, this mischievous person here, okay? This person that's been causing um, shit to happen behind closed doors for you. Okay, we got a gift coming in because of what this person did. All right, they, uh, and it's coming in fast. Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse, it's coming in fast. What is this about? I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. Oh, okay. So somebody was trying to make life really hard for you. Okay. And, um, by leaving you alone, clearly. Okay. There's a spy somewhere and they're telling on this person. Okay. They've got Intel that this person is, is a substance abuser. Okay. And that they abuse things. And they also abuse people, okay? And they're not getting the heads up about this. They, they're they going to be really confused very soon. Something very big is going to happen to them, okay? And they don't know it. Their balance, their fairness, their equality, it's all being taken away, okay? Um, they're going to be left in some type of tra trauma, uh, some type of traumatic situation perhaps, okay? Because of what the the life was that they wanted for you. They were obsessed with putting you in very dangerous situations, okay, where you constantly had to have your guard up, things that you couldn't escape, okay, and uh, this was fake. You weren't never supposed to be put in these situations, okay? I mean, it was real as fuck because it happened to you, but it was 
this was family energy. This was family who did this to you. They, it's like, it's like they fake loved you, man. Like, like you, you don't, you don't want to see people that you love being pressed up against the wall, uh, having stalkers being haunted, having to put their guard up. You don't want to see people that you love in that type of energy and then not allow them to leave instead allow this energy to block them. Okay. Um, and then want everything to go so long and hard for you is now it's like, it's like switching, like the gift, the gift is knowing that it's all going to go back to them. Now, anything they did to you happens to them times three. Okay. What goes around comes around and the universe doesn't put up with people like this. Okay, high priestesses in reverse. Okay, acting like they know it all, like they're powerful, like they can mistreat people. It's not okay. Because, you know, people who act like this, what they got to realize is that anybody could act like that. Sure, they're allowed to go and do whatever the devil's telling them they're allowed to go and do. Um, but so is anybody else. Like they're not special. Okay. We all technically are allowed to break the law whenever the fuck we want. Okay. Nobody gets given permission. Idiot. They just wanted you to be held in contempt. Like, Oh, you're fine. They're fine. Uh, no, they weren't. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. Whoa. Wow. My goodness. I just love tarot so much. It gives such good endings sometimes, you know? So we got, there's your Ace of Cups again. Coming in bright and shiny. And we've got that followed by the Herald font. So I'd say that's a big old blessing, okay, of transformation. Okay, so your life is going to change in some way and you're moving on. You're moving forward. This blockage, this huge block, okay, is done now, okay? And the thing is, is that the, the block could have been the universe overprotecting you, okay? So it's like they had to shield you because of the energy you had to get out of, okay? So... It's like, we are leaving this behind, okay? Swords are coming out. Energy is changing. And somebody is going to find some serious stability coming up soon, which is guided by karma, okay? In the form of a couple of things, okay? We are successfully getting somebody out of poverty for good, and the swords come out about the past, okay? This overwhelming sense of balance comes in for somebody's life, okay? And there's the Ten of Cups. And once you reach the Ten of Cups, it's like that family dynamic allows you to leave the burdens of not being able to speak behind and gives you your sword back, okay? Because that, my friend, is justice, it's like somebody took your words away from you. Okay, like you could have said something, revealed something, and they were like, liar, and just took that whole thing away from you. 
And you were like, oh, okay. That's how it's going to be, eh? That's how it's going to be, eh? And then they go ahead and put you in the most dangerous situations because of what you said. And look at what stayed on top. I can't lie if I tried. Somebody narked them out. Okay. You had a spy came in. Okay. Every now and then we come across people who have missions and they have secret missions that aren't released to the world. Okay. Um, they are missions that help people get out of situations. Okay. Because sometimes the energy is so bad and the abuse is so bad that you need to call in the big guys. Okay. You need to call in the big guns to come down and to help. Okay, with situations. And it seems like this block for somebody, okay, was putting, was, was so hazardous in their life that it was putting them into positions where they were risking their life for something. Okay. All because somebody wanted to control them. They wanted to be the mischievous demon in the middle. Could, perhaps could be this person right here. Okay queen of bitches and by getting there and by being there she has to destroy lives in order to stay there right because it's like being the queen of hell like what she watched the queen of the damned and want to be Aaliyah like grow up fucking idiots so anyways that said I'm gonna keep it at that nice and short and look at that ace of cups it came back up again it's just sitting on the top of the deck and it flipped so this is a huge ace of cups coming back around. Okay. That you get to take the wounds out, the backstabbing out. Okay. You get to take everything that these people did to you and you get to get, you get to get rid of it and they are going to drown. They're going to get ditched. They're going to become confused. They're going to lose their money. They're going to lose their power. They're going to lose their position. Okay. And they hold that position quite, quite like, you know, they, they think this is the kind of person that thinks position is everything. Okay. And by taking that position away from them, they're going to want to die. Okay. It's going to be one of those situations where somebody's going to be like, just kill me now. Just kill me now. If I can't go out and do this, just fucking kill me. And that's a true addict. You know, you take away their soother and they threaten to go and kill themselves instantly. And then you're like, okay, here, here's the back. You can have it back. Like, no, I'm the kind of person who takes her to the right. You want to kill yourself? Go ahead. Like, I'm not just going to let you go and do something because you fucking think you can when it's against the law. Like, all right. So anyways, beautiful reading. I mean, it really, it's awful energy. Okay. But what's nice about it, what's wonderful about it is that from the looks of it, somebody gets out of it. And the person that did everything is being called out. It's not you. You just get a beautiful ace of cups coming in, which is like, you know, if you sacrifice your family, maybe it's a whole new family coming in. You know, maybe you get to make your own family. What it may, maybe sometime you get pregnant or, um, you know, your, your girlfriend gets pregnant and suddenly you just have this family all of a sudden, or you get a boyfriend that's got a bunch of dogs and it's like, okay, he's got a couple of brothers and a dad and that's all you need as a family, right? Like it's like a new family dynamic comes in. I think that's where I'm getting with this whole like ace of cups. That's what I can see is people around and like clear, I just said all guys. So it's like, um, I don't know if women have been really awful to you or something, but it seems like they kind of get cut out of the equation. Like if you can't work with women, if you can't be around women, then you're going to be surrounded by a bunch of men. And it's, it's the opposite of for men, you know, like if you can't be around men, if men have always really bothered you or always really hurt you, then you're going to be around a bunch of women. Like it's going to be something like that. It's going to be like an easier dynamic for somebody to be able to live with. And now I'm watching a guy carry a recycle bin, which is blue with a bright blue shirt. I mean, come on, matchy, matchy, right? Something's going to match you. That's what I'm getting. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Awesome reading.
like I said a million times. And if you want a personal reading, let me know, WhitneyMoonshine at gmail.com. If not, um, you can always just enjoy the channel. Don't hesitate to just enjoy yourself. God forbid you, you enjoy yourself, right? My God says you're allowed to enjoy yourself, okay? When in Rome, we say. And yeah, that's it. Thanks so much, Pisces. Peace out. And this is collective reading, so if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. If it does resonate, I hope you get whatever you need out of the information I provided you with. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye.